hi all welcome to another rpa tutorial video today in this video we are going to see how to upload and download multiple documents in document automation so this can be done with the help of rpa task and we are going to use a package uh, which is available in automation 360 is document extraction so that document extraction package can help us on uploading and downloading multiple uh, files for a particular learning instance so i have already created uh, a couple of videos based on document automations so this video is a continuation series from those videos so here we will see step by step how we can upload and download documents as well as we will try to understand in case if document is not processed successfully so how we we will understand whether that document is moved to the validation queue or it processed successfully so we'll see those things in detail so before start please support this channel by subscribing and also like the video in case if you feel this video is helpful and informative so let's start let's see sample files which we are going to use and upload it so before that let me show you the learning instance so in order to access learning instance you have to go to the manage and from the manage learning instance and then and here you can see the learning instance so i'm going to use this invoice learning instance and here we have filled like invoice number date and the amount and i'm not keeping anything from the table so these are the sample pdf file which we are going to upload into the learning instance. So here you can see this invoice number, date, and the total amount, everything is present here. So similarly in this file also. In few of the document, I have kept this invoice number as blank. So it will uh, help us on understanding the scenario where let's say uh, any of the mandatory field or required field is not having the data then how we are going to understand whether this document is moving into the validation queue or how it is working so we'll understand everything step by step so now let me close it so the question is how we are going to understand whether the document is processed successfully or not so let's try to see this with the help of a single file and after that i will show you how we can upload this multiple files and how we can download all the files so in order to perform this action you have to look for a package called document extraction and under this document extraction package we have multiple options available like extract data download data update document get document so for this tutorial we are going to only work with this download and extract data so this extract data when you drag it here and you can see it will help you on uploading the document into a particular learning instance which is available in document automation so the first thing if you see in right hand side it is asking us to select the document which i want to process and the learning instance so let's see which document we want to process so i'm just getting the path for this document and we'll process this document and after that we'll process all the documents and here you have to select this server learning inst instance and when you select it in the drop down you can see all the learning instance which you have created will be available here for our case this invoice underscore zero zero is the learning instance which we are going to use to upload the document and i will go with this upload to the server so basically this option will upload uh, this document into this learning instance in document automation server itself now here we have the output path also but we are not going to use this because we are using the option as upload to the server okay we have other options like additional settings if you want to process this document with google doc ai ms open ai or the iq bot for our case we'll go with the none now coming to the most important section when we upload the document so how we will understand whether this has processed successfully or it moved to the validation so this response option you can see here this save response as record so this will help us on getting that information 
so here it will give you the record uh, variable which we have to create and it will give you the response in the record variable form so let's create a variable and put a name as response so when we upload the document it will store the uh, result in this uh, variable itself now let me put a message box and see what exactly it is giving as uh, in the message box so i am selecting that variable and here let me select this index 1 i am going to select the index 0 and 1 so understand like what exactly it is giving as the output so i'm just putting some name as index 1 so we can understand the value which is displaying in the message box for which index so let's run this and see what exactly it is uh, giving the output okay so we can see this message box which we have kept for record type variable which we have created so this index one is giving us some number which is basically a document id so this document id will be useful when you want to download a document so this with the help of this document id it's basically a reference number i can say so with the help of this reference number we can download the document and save into our local so that we will see in next step now this index 2 is giving us the response as dw underscore extract underscore success so it means this doc document which we have uploaded has processed successfully so let me copy this and keep somewhere so we can see so in case let's say if any document is not processed successfully then what message it will give so i have kept a message which we can see here this is the response which just now we got for success and in case if any document is moving to the validations due to some uh, uh, any other reasons let's say if it is not matching the required conditions then it will move to the validation queue so that time we will get this message as uh, this underscore validations so with the help of this text uh, output we can understand how this document is going or i mean it is going to the success folder or it is moving to the validations queue so let's understand these things in more detail with next step so let me close this okay so now we understood this part so let's see how we can upload a multiple files and download the multiple files so in order to do this multiple document upload and download we have to use the loop so let me go to the loop and drag this loop here and we'll look for a loop options uh, files in a folder and here we have to give the complete path from where i want to read the data so let me copy this and keep it here now when we will use this loop so this loop will give you the output in the form of dictionary or a multiple variable so basically this will give you two things the file name and the extension so that we are going to store into this dictionary variable so let me create a dictionary variable so we can get those informations okay so now this loop is done now so inside the loop i want to upload my all the document when we upload the document then only we will understand or we'll get to know whether that document is processed or not so let's keep this uh, document extraction extract package inside the loop and here we are going to remove this invoice uh, name and we'll go with the dictionary variable which is files in a folder and we'll put a dictionary key as name in order to get the file name and i will just pass the extension as pdf because currently i am having only the pdf if you want you can read that extension from this file in a folder variable itself okay rest looks good only and this response variable will hold all the informations which we are looking for so when we run this it will upload all the document so in order to identify whether document has been processed successfully or not let's 
put a condition so we are going to put a conditions and based on the conditions we will download the document and we will do the rest of the action so let's try to create that logic so inside loop i'm just going to put a string condition and i will just create this index as one and here we'll just keep equals to and we'll get the message so if this variable includes or like you know having this value then i want my bot to download this file so let's see how we can download that document so again we have to go to the document extraction package and we can see here this document download doc data is uh, action is available which we need to use so here you can see here this is asking you to provide the document id so as last time i shown you this is the document id which we have to use it and this document id is holding our record variable so we have to use that so i'm just going to use that record variable response and here i will just go with the index 0 because this is holding in first index only and i want to get the output as csv form now i want to store the output into this uh, folder itself so i'll i'll just pass that folder details here and if you want to delete the files which is available in the server after downloading so we can just check this box if you want to delete it okay so this is the first thing in case of success it will uh, download that document so and here is again we have the optional variable if you want you, you can use this variable so this variable will also give you the success and failure information but for our case this is not required because we are getting all the information from when we are uploading the document into the document automation server itself so let's put another condition we'll put a else if and again here we are going to use this string condition and now we'll put this validation text equals to this if it comes to this section then i want to display a message box so let's keep this message box and remove this information and put uh, let's say i'm just putting a file name to understand which file is moving to the validation queue although we can check it from the learning instance itself and let's see what status or maybe we'll, i want to pass a message stating that this document has been moved to something like that okay all right so now we are set now we have four files which we are going to upload now before that let's go to the learning instance and just ref refresh it and see what is the status of this learning instance currently looks like so we can see like we have total five documents uploaded till now and this validate document is showing two so we can understand like whether any document moved to the validation queue or not so this is a very small and uh, straightforward task which we have created so with the help of this loop we are just calling this extract data action to upload the document into document automation learning instance and after that based on the response which we are receiving from this we are putting a condition to understand whether this document has processed successfully if it has processed successfully then we are just downloading that file into our local and if not then we are just uh, displaying a message box stating that this document is moved to the validation queue so let's run this and see how it is behaving so we can see one of the message box we got and uh, this is saying uh, file invoice underscore zero zero two this is moving into the validation queue so let's close this and see rest of the document we can see now the process completed successfully now let me close this let's go to the folder so as we have uploaded four document 
and we can see the output got generated for this invoice 001 3 and 4 because invoice 002 if you see this i have kept this invoice number as blank which is again a required field so it was not able to identify this field so we have seen the message box which was uh, saying this document is moving to the validation queue so now let me go to the learning instance and refresh this and see whether this validation so we can see this document uh, validate is now showing s3 so this way we can easily process uh, the multiple document so let me open one of the output file and see how the output looks like so here we can see this invoice number date and the total amount so it extracted information correctly so this is very straightforward and simple uh, step only which help us on extracting or uploading the multiple file and downloading the multiple file data so if you want to see more about so when you create a learning instance we can see this uh, folder is automatically getting created document workspace inside the folder you have to just look for your learning instance and open that once you open you can see here the task is already created like you know the upload and download so if you open this you can see all the information is available and although this task is calling by this process invoice 001 so if you want to know more about this process in more details so i would recommend you to kindly refer to this task which will help you and giving you more information about exactly how this process happened in the back end so that's all from this video i hope this video is helpful and informative and able to make you understand how you can upload and download multiple files from the document uh, automation so thank you so much for watching this video